Welcome back on this fine rust morning. Today I'm going to show you how to make a clock and it's actually easier than you may think. Now I've already got the timing circuit set up which is pulses every one second and I've also got a swastika there. If you want to see how to make this you can just screenshot this, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, maybe it isn't, anyway. Or you can go on to my last video where I show you how to do it. Now anyway, just a quick rundown. Uh, these counters here have a value for pass through. So when the counter hits this number, 60, so 60 seconds, you can set it to do whatever. So it'll pass through electricity, which I'm going to use to clear the counter and start counting on the next one. So just for ease, I'm going to set this to 10 or no, even five, just so you can see it happening. That's already on five. That's already on five. So this is going to be a seconds, minutes, hours, if they were set to normal values. So simply all you want to do is take a power out of your pulser. Again, showed you this in the last video, which will go into the increment counter. And then when the threshold counter has been met, it will power out from this pass through. And then we can take it into a splitter, which will clear the counter and add one to the next one. And then we can do the same here. And then that will clear the counter and count on the next one. And now I'm just going to leave it at that for now. So now what we can do is we can plug them all in. They're all... Uh, they need clearing. Let me just do that real quick. All right, there we go. Along with uh, a lot of dodgy swastikas, we have a working timing circuit. So every second it counts up until it gets to five and then it counts on to the next one. So obviously this would take 60 seconds to count a minute and then an hour and a day. Don't know what you could do with this. You could count down until the rust wipe. I don't know. That could be quite cool. Count down. Um, yeah, it could get a little annoying though, the, all the clicking. So as soon as it hits five, it goes on to one on the next one. And there you go, you have a very simple timer, as long as you watch my previous video. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for this video, nice and simple. Thanks for watching, uh, be sure to like the video. And also let me know if you have any questions, if you have anything about anything. Honestly, how to make a flame trap base, stupid flame trap bases, other electronics, building, doors, garage doors, raiding, I don't know, you name it. I will, if I can't answer it myself, I'll ask one of my friends, because I have a few friends that are, that are good at the game. But anyway, yes, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I will talk to you in the next video.